A three-day scientific conference got on the way at the SU conference room at the General Hospital on Thursday. It is organized by the Caribbean Society of Endoscopic Surgeons, cases who represent surgeons across the Caribbean involving laparoscopic and endoscopic surgery. President-elect of cases, Jamaican Dr. Lynn Simpson, head surgeon at the Kingston Public Hospital, Jamaica, says cases was born out of the need for medical professionals to improve on the care given to Caribbean patients. Dr. Simpson says surgeons realize the use of minimal invasive laparoscopic surgery can provide benefits to all patients. It allows us to do the same operations we knew how to do, but we did it in a way that it caused less trauma to patients, patients recovered faster, had less pain after surgery, and it benefited institutions and hospital systems. So for the hospital, they need less medication, less use of resources like swabs, and because the patients tend to bleed less. So all in all, the leaders of this organization. We were all trained in minimal invasive surgery outside of the Caribbean region, but coming back, we recognized the need to give back to our region as a whole. And it really started um, at a meeting in Curacao where a group of us got together and said, we can do more for the region if we join forces. General Surgeon and Senior Medical Officer at the Percy Junior Hospital, Jamaica, who holds the portfolio of Education Officer with cases, Dr. Carlos Wilson referenced the conference as timely and of significant importance. Dr. Wilson says over 20 presenters from 10 different countries will be involved in the three-day workshop that is being held in person and via the virtual platform Zoom. We're talking folks coming from up north, Miami and Jamaica, all the way across the Caribbean down to Guyana. So we are bringing folks right here to Grenada and what it does, it, it energizes the, the surgical community. All of the folks who have been involved in this, when I speak to them, they tell me that they feel really energized. They're looking at things. They're trying to do better for their patients. So just in terms of looking at things and seeing what's new and how better we can treat our patients, it's really an energizing effort that we're getting with a conference like this. So we're very happy that Grenada has chosen to lead the way, as Dr. Simpson has said, uh, at this point in the pandemic where we are now face to face once again. Multiple areas of minimal invasive surgeries, Dr. Wilson says, forms part of the working agenda for the next three days. We're going to have speakers speaking about urology, laparoscopic urology, folks speaking about surgery in the chest, thoroscopic surgery, We're talking about all different types of abdominal surgery, from surgery on the diaphragm to surgery on the stomach, surgery on the gallbladder, surgery on the colon. So it's virtually all across the torso of the body that we'll be delving in. And there are other areas which we hope to include in further conferences, things like neurosurgery, things like uh, ENT surgery, even uh, orthopedic surgery. So minimal invasive surgery really runs the gamut of surgery. It's, you know, as, as our tagline says for this conference, size matters. And for all areas of surgery, we can make smaller incisions and get even better results. And that's what we want for our Caribbean people, that they get first-class treatment. General laparoscopic surgeon at the St. George's General Hospital, Dr. Daniel Thomas, says the conference is all about education, collaboration, and support. He says as host country, he is very pleased to see the return of the conference after the hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I have um, junior doctors who, are, who have an interest in surgery and I want them to know that minimal invasive surgery is a way forward. It is present, it is the future. And the motto for the conference is size matters. So you want to do good things in a sort of simpler and more cosmetic fashion. So a big part of this is education. Another part of this is commercial. I've also used the opportunity of having the expertise here to perform surgery for locals that would otherwise cost a lot of money that they cannot afford. So yesterday we were operating until almost midnight and I'm, I hope that in the future there will be more like me so that we can perform this surgery for people here on a regular basis or have an exchange where I can get these people to come back again 
to do more stuff for people in Grenada. The overall goal of cases is to make surgery better, safer and more accessible in keeping with the motto, size matters, smaller, safer and cosmetically appealing.